It is an honor for me to be here today to commemorate the 100th birthday of Tiruke Karunanidhi and share the stage on this special meeting for women with all of you. 32 years ago, on the darkest night of my life, I first set foot on this land of Tamil Nadu. I was here to collect my father's shattered body. I was 19 years old and my mother was just a few years younger than I am today. As the door of the plane opened, the night grabbed us and drew us in. But I was not afraid of it because the worst thing I could have imagined had already happened. A few hours earlier, my father had been killed. I had walked towards my mother that night, knowing that the words I was to speak would break her heart. Yet I spoke them, and I watched as the light of happiness was extinguished from her eyes forever. We walked down the stairs of the plane onto the tarmac, of Minambakam Airport Terminal, shocked and alone. Then suddenly, as if sent by the embarrassed gods who had failed us, a crowd of women dressed in blue saris surrounded us. They were ladies who worked at the airport. They held my mother in their arms and cried inconsolably with her as if they were all my mothers as if they too had lost their beloved. In those shared tears, a bond formed between me, between my heart and the women of Tamil Nadu that I can neither explain nor ever erase. Ningal Dhani and Thai. Ningal Dhani and Sahodari. Inge Uguludan. Irupadai, naan perumayang, naan perumayag karudugiren. Indri naan, na mannai varai patri pesapogiren. Indiya natin, pengalai patri pesapogiren.